Welcome to Chuck Yeager's Air Combat. And welcome back to another exciting installment of Let's Play Chuck Yeager's Air Combat. We are continuing on to America's Next War, just around the corner, in Korea. Korea would represent the ultimate, how shall we say, refinement of the gunfighting, dogfighting, tactical air combat. This would be the prime, prime time to be a uh, maverick sort of top gun guy. The was well, the jets are fast and the bullets are fast and they're everything's tight in close combat and we don't have missiles yet. So we have to put away our tail landing gear and get off with that tricycle landing gear. Let's do B twenty nine escort is the first mission. Protect the big friends on the way to bomb a railroad yard. So we get to have the B twenty nine. The B-29 Super Fortress was the ultimate bomber of World War II. It saw only service in the Asian Pacific Theater. It was not in the European Theater. It's uh, the ultimate refinement of the Flying Fortress. It's bigger, carries more stuff. That's why they call it the Super Fortress. It is shortly after MacArthur's landing at Incheon, and North Korean forces are retreating. We'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> B-29 squadrons have been assigned to cut their supply lines and harass the retreating troops. Yeah, we're still using... This would be before jet engines would be on bombers. So we're still using piston engine bombers. What is this? November... October October 8th, 1950. You are to escort two B-29s past North Korean air bases on their way to their target. When they're past enemy fighter range, they will radio you that you can head for home. Watch out for red fighters, and that means watch in all directions. Now we get to fight the communists, just like Chuck Norris wants us to. Let's look at our tactics. I've got enough P-51. Oh, I'm facing the Yak-9. So the Yak-9 didn't quite get into production in time to make much of a difference in the World War II, but it was a pretty useful fighter. It's, it's a, one of the top-of-the-line performing fighters in the piston engine class by the time the Korean War rolls around. So, we're going to use our World War II stuff against something that's more advanced, maybe? I don't know why he says we're ahead in this battle. You're ahead in this battle, but you can turn with you. Keep your speed up. Now that Yak-9 will outperform a P-51 at most, most, in, most engagement ranges, I believe. Um, uh, whatever. Let's go. I was hoping I would be f flying a saber jet. No! Ugh! No jet engines for you! Oop, that's, uh, okay. Target those B-29s. Korean fighters at 12 o'clock. Where are ye, Korean fighters? That's North Korea, you know, the bad one. Oh yeah, look at that flyby there. Let's get getting closer. Whoa! Let's not rip the wings off the plane, though. Ugh. Whoops. <laughs> That's okay. I don't know if you can rip the wings off in this game. I know you can in Fighters Anthology, which is the spin-off of this game. Fighters Anthology. No, it was uh, U.S. Navy Fighters was the original one. 
made by Electronic Arts. Oops. Spun off into ATF. The Advanced Technical Fighter. Back when we didn't know if the F-22 or the F-23 would be the winner of the Advanced Tactical Fighter competition. Why am I not able to target anyone? Where is this guy that I'm supposed to be looking at? I always like the F-23. It just looks cooler than the F-22. Turn, turn off my cockpit. Because that's realistic. Fine. This way. Where are enemy dudes? I can see them on my radar, but I can't see them with my face. ATF was a great game. It's an extension of this game. It uses a similar engine. Which means it's got all the panels and windows on top of it. Like this. And it lets you fly all kinds of current day contemporary fighters. Well, at a time. In 1994. Live, I believe. And it was also sponsored by James, who used to be the be all end all in knowing everything about the specifications of every military piece of hardware you could imagine. So when James had the approval of it and you saw James on the logo, it was big stamp of a rule. Where is this guy? I don't understand. Why am I flying and talking so much? Huh. I don't, I don't, I'm pushing, t am I pushing the wrong, no, I'm not pushing the wrong button. Oh, don't tell me about thrust limits. Where is a something? I don't see it. It's getting closer. I'm um, giving it all she's got, Captain. What the frig? Is he up higher? We're past NKF range. Thanks for the. Why are you damaged? Whoa, hey, what? Uh, what? No! What? This. Huh? Why are you being shot at? What are you being shot by? What am I chasing and what are you being shot by? Ugh, this does not make sense. Well, they're coming in my direction. Maybe that'll help somehow. Man, all this flying and I haven't shot anything yet. What's up with that? I can see him on my... See him on my, uh, HUD there. So, okay, but you're not being attacked by anyone. I think there's something wrong in this mission. The B-29s are safe. by mission objectives, apparently. 
Um, okay, what happens if I do end mission? There's always next time. I didn't destroy any of the attacking fighters. You know what? You know why? Because I couldn't find them! Stay close to B-29 so you can respond to a threat from any direction. Well, that was a... <laughs> That was a fun uh, little Sunday flight, wasn't it? Ah, let's do it again. Maybe this time we can find the Koreans. Korean fighters at 12 o'clock. That's what you said last time. <laughs> Peacemaker. Making the peace with the biggest bombs possible! We're gonna freedom the hell out of you! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. I've got a... spot on my target there. It's dark red, which means it's below. Oh! Okay, there we go. This time, we've targeted... Oh, that closing speed is enormous. Oh, dear. Can I even get a head-on pass? Oh! Oh! Wow! He had all the rockets up his tailpipe there. Man. It's like he was on a special mission from... Uh, Kim Jong-il, or wh whoever's in charge of Korea at this time. Oh. Yeah, watch that. Yak-9 just completely outperform us. Because we are so outclassed, that's great. Thank you, America, for building planes that are not useful anymore. Oh, what is that kind of firing? Look, and he just kind of skates and floats away. Let's see. Go up. Can I get him? Nope. Ah! There we go. Ah! Ha, ha, ha. All right. Let's go look at that Yak-9 as it tumbles to Earth. Korean fighters at 12 o'clock. All right. Head for those B7 or B29s, I suppose. B29 was the first bomber to have a pressurized cabin, which is a good thing because you don't want to not have air at this altitude. That's why everybody in the B17 movies has their breathing masks on and such. And then the B-24 was also like that. They probably still had their things on, but it was not such a worry. B-29 is much faster than the B-17. Cruises at 249 miles per hour. And there's a Hostile Yak attacking. Yak is short for Yakovlev, which is the design bureau that built the Yak-9. What in the... Did... Did I just fly right past him? Where are you? How did that happen? Oh, there's another one of you coming. Well, let's go in the forward direction because that's the way the plane is pointed. Why am I not being able to... He's right there! There we go. All right, let's lower that throttle to one so we can have him come to us. Use our speed advantage. Oh, no, that thrust limit. Ugh, come on. Come on! Break it open! Ugh. Oh, not quite working like I wanted to. I 
Thanks for the escort. Well, they're still around. Hey, thanks, Chuck. Mission accomplished. Well, I can't go home now after I found them and such. Come on, where are you? Drop flaps to slow down. We don't have time to slow down. We have to go fast. Fast like Sanic the Hedgehog. Okay, fine. Set throttle to zero. Let's see if we can... Jeez, it's gotta be like right on top of me. Uh oh. I am underperforming. Oh, and he's gonna slot right in behind me. Wow, I am a sitting duck pilot if I've ever saw one. Alright. Following me, so let's do an Immelman. Like that. Oh, they're following me, aren't they? That didn't work, huh? Gotta lower the throttle because we got so much altitude we can use for our advantage. Whoa! Come on. Just need to target you once. Ugh. It's even at 15% throttle. We're just so fast. That's what I love about this game. Such a great model of aerodynamics. Come on. Ugh. It's gotta be like right on top of me, man. Oops, that's the gun button. Roll over. There we go. Now I got you. Perform evasive maneuvers, why don't you? Ah, eh, shoot it, why don't you? Oh, yes. Slot right in behind him. Oh, yeah! It's like I know what I'm doing. Now, where's that other guy? Where's your buddy? Huh? He's right in my face. In pursuit mode. Coming over the... We're gonna do a head-on pass here. Oh! Sure! Why don't you? Oh, come on! Almost had you there. Oop! Gonna go right down to the deck, huh? It's not gonna matter. Ooh! Look at that! Oh, I'm going to black out. Yeah, that was, whoa, that's some good aerial maneuvers there, Mr. Yakman. Oh! Oh, goodness gracious. Wow. He's a uh, pretty good pilot. More than I expected. Oh, let's not... Oh. Jeez. Wow, he's putting the Yak-9 to its ultimate performance here. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh. Ah, I got him. Yes, indeed. How much damage did I take? Zero percent. I have not been shot at all. Wow, that was a good dogfight, though. That Yak-9 put up a good challenge. Nav 2 home base. Check out our map here. Okay, I will see you in the landing phase.
All right, here we are on final approach for our runway, more or less, I think. Right out the window there. Turn right into him. Got too much speed though. Drop that landing gear. The flaps. Settle down. Nice and gracefully on the runway. Just like that. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Chuck. I always appreciate your encouragement. Excellent escort job! Not only did both B-29s get through safely, but you downed the Red Fighters that threatened them. The North Korean Air Force has been pretty ineffective lately, and we better hope it stays that way. Ha ha ha! Forbidding! Foreshadowing! Harbinger of the future! Okay. Stats! Oh, 90% is poor? Oh well. Three planes shot down. Our plane was undamaged! Alright, thank you very much for watching, and until the next time, check six! Thank you for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, or subscribe. You can also interact with me on Twitter and Facebook at L1011Widebody. And if you'd like, Pledge to sponsor me at patreon.com forward slash L1011 widebody.